and do, Dr. Anubi, so just picking up on that point, do you, do you think um, there is a, a great need for you know education on 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 mental health? Is is there a picking up on a point made earlier? You know, is is there a stigma? Is is there an issue, a cultural issue, where people um, you know just don't want to talk about it? You know, don't you you were saying you know that they what don't want to yeah. use that as an excuse for being absent from work? But is it just uh, a, a topic not people don't want to talk about? Yeah, in the last situation are changing. Uh, to be sincere, situation in Nigeria, for example, and many African countries, situation is currently changing. Uh, uh, in the last 13 years, I've been involved in mental health advocacy. And if I compare and contrast where we were and where we are now, and I want to be sincere with myself, I would say that we've made some significant positive steps in the right direction uh people uh before i mean it's a cultural thing is still preponderant now so if you ask me i would say maybe before two percent of the population or five percent are well informed they were well informed about mental health emotional health in terms of the causations the developmental causes environmental causes effect of stress impact of not sleeping poor diet you know, the effect of stress, impact of burnout, how it affects your health. You say 5%. But now, let us say that we have moved roughly to 13 or 15%. Jeremy, we have a long way to go. But I've just told you that from 5%, we have moved to 13 or 15%. That is to tell you that even though we have moved in the last one decade, we still have a very long way to go. So now we try to advocate and say it's OK not to be OK. It's OK, and that is the maxim that is going all around. It's OK not to be OK. Call for help the way you call if you have physical problem. Education is very key in these things. 